All right, welcome everybody. Uh, this is a webinar for the Bachelor of Commerce program at the Gordon S. Lang School of Business and Economics at the University of Guelph in Guelph, Ontario, Canada. And today we have a panel here of some students and people like me who want to talk to you about the program, say why it's a great program to join, and to show you how students from India and South Asia have succeeded in coming here, landing a job in Canada, and doing quite well. So just to start out, the this is a picture of our main building here. We have four buildings on campus, but at the Gordon S. Lang School of Business and Economics, we develop leaders who use business as a force for good. That's our under not underlying motto here of the school. This is a very different business school here, as I will explain. It is unlike most other business schools, and you'll see why. An important thing to note at the very start is that we are accredited by the AACSB. This is a body that goes around and accredits uh, business schools worldwide. And only 6% of the world's business schools can claim to be AACSB accredited. So that's a very important component to us. My name is Greg Bauer. I'm Associate Dean of Strategic Partnerships and a Professor of Finance here at the school. I did my PhD at Wharton down at the University of Pennsylvania in the US. I'm the former Associate Dean and Michael J. Barclay Professor at the Simon Business School in Rochester, New York. And I'm also a former Senior Research Director at the Bank of Canada, which is like our central bank here. So it would be similar, for example, to the Federal Reserve in the United States. And this combination of academic experience and industry experience is actually quite common here at the school. So unlike a lot of other schools, we don't teach, you know, just theory. We actually teach very applied things that we have seen in the real world ourselves. I've taught international students in many places in Canada, in the US, in Switzerland, in India itself. I've actually been to India six different times to teach and do presentations there, uh, Singapore and in China. Now, there's some other people on the call with me, and I'd like to have an opportunity for them to introduce themselves. So if I could ask uh, Amy Van Rensburg, who's in our admission service, just to pop on and introduce herself to you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today or for watching this recording. I'm thrilled that you get to learn a bit more about the University of Guelph. My name is Amy Van Rensburg. I am the manager of international recruitment here at the university and I work in admission services. So if you have any questions um, about your application or anything to do with admissions, please reach out to us directly. You can always touch base with us at internat, I-N-T-E-R-N-A-T at uoguelph.ca. And if you have any specific questions about your application or any part of the admission funnel, please reach out with me. I'm happy to help you and welcome you to the University of Guelph. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Amy. And now two of our current students are with us on the call. Arujas, if you'd like to introduce yourself, please. Perfect. Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Arujas Saluja. I'm a third year accounting student here at the University of Guelph. I am actually on my co-op term right now. And uh, I love to be here. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. Where are you from, Arujas? Uh, I'm from India, New Delhi, and I've been in Guelph for the past three years. Right. And where are you working on your co-op term? Uh, currently, I'm working at the CRA with Government of Canada, Canadian okay. Revenue Agency. Yep. Right. That's a very important agency. Thank you. Uh, Dune, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself, please. Hi, my name is Dune Gandhi. Um, I'm a fourth year management economics and finance student. And I'm also on co-op right now. And I am from Vadodara, Gujarat. Thank you. And where have you worked on your co-op terms? Oh, yes. So right now I'm working at BDO Canada in the oh, insurance team. Okay, excellent, excellent. So before we go on, I mean, I just want to stress that as we see here um, for our, our two students that we have on the call, we have all sorts of different majors, which I'll show you in a moment. But a large number of our students are in co-op. We have co-op in every major that we offer here. And this is a very good way of getting real world experience while doing your degree here. 
And as you can see, just from the example of our two students on the call, they land excellent jobs with excellent places in Canada. This has an enormous number of benefits. It means that you're actually learning how to apply the things that you were taught in the classroom right away. You can see the application in the real world. So that's very important. It does help with the funding of your program because you are earning a salary. These are paid positions. You are earning a salary while you're doing these positions. And it really does help you land a full-time job. Many of our co-op students go on to work for the same employer where they have been working. And it's also, um, you get like about a year's worth of experience um, under your belt. So if you wanna switch employers, you can go to a potential new employer and go, here, I've actually got a year's worth of experience at a different place, et cetera. And employers really do value that. They really do value the fact that our graduates have this. Our program is unique here because when you apply for the program, you also apply to get into co-op right away. So unlike other business programs, you will know before you set foot on campus whether or not you are a co-op student. In other universities, other business schools in Canada, you apply for the first year and then you will get selected into co-op in the second year. So you may become a co-op student or you may not at these other places. In contrast, here in Lang, you will know with your letter of acceptance whether or not you have been accepted into the co-op program. So we have a traditional program. Otherwise, we've got a four-year honors degree program. It's five years for co-op because you are getting that extra year of work experience. Our semesters are 12 weeks long, a fall and a winter semester. We focus here on collaborative applied learning. You are applying, you're being taught what you're going to use in the real world. We have all sorts of majors here. On the left-hand side are what I would call the traditional majors that are really applicable to any sort of business. So accounting, economics, finance, management, marketing, et cetera. These are the major areas that you will encounter um, in any sort of organization or in any sort of government uh, policy area, things like that. We also have on the right hand side here, a number of majors that I would call our boutique uh, majors that are designed around a specific industry. So we have a very popular real estate program where people who are interested in the real estate industry can apply into that. We have a popular sport and event management program. So if you would like to help manage a sporting place or a sporting team or something like this, uh, that is a very popular major there. We have food and agricultural business. Let me tell you, that is one of the largest industries on the planet. We have a very long and successful uh, uh, experience here at Guelph in promoting people in this area. We've got government economics and management. So for those of you who are interested in the interaction of government and business, that's a very popular major. And we have a hospitality and tourism management major where you can learn how to do, how to work in the hospitality industry and restaurants, hotels, things like that, that are, as you well know, are very popular all over the world. So I'm going to start by talking about our future you advantage. This is the way we talk about our program. And as you'll see here, it's the three pillars to the future you. It's our way of explaining what we do at the Lang School to potential students. So the pillars are the future focused expertise and skill development from the top faculty. So in other words, that's what you learn in the classroom. That's pillar number one. Pillar number two is our co-op and career launch supports. So we are not teaching you theory for theory's sake. We expect you to use your skills in the job market. And the second pillar at Lang is how we support you in your co-op program or in your career search. And the third pillar is our global leadership development opportunities. All the various things that are called co-curricular, which means uh, all the activities that we offer outside of the classroom, like case competitions, 
and things like that. So let me go through these pillars and I'll have the students explain um, how they've experienced these pillars as we go through. So the first one is the expertise. This is what's going on in the classroom. So as I said, we've got a very different program here. When we talk to the employers, the employers want our graduates to be analytical, collaborative, and ethical. And this is what we deliver to employers. It's not enough just to learn the hard skills of analytics. You've also got to be able to work in a team. And when we talk to our employers, one of the things they love the most about our graduates is their ability to work in a team. And that's incredibly important in today's business um, environment. They want, to, they want graduates to be able to come in and be part of a team working together for a common goal. So we do offer a very supportive team-based learning environment here at Lang. And that I would say is the biggest difference from other business schools. Other business schools are very competitive, one student fighting against another student. We do not have that here. When you are in the classroom, the people that are sitting there next to you are going to be your biggest boosters. You're going to learn from them. You're going to be helping teach them, et cetera, et cetera. It's a very different environment here. We have these case competitions that go on, and we do have co-op terms at some of the top companies. We'll, we can talk about, I can show you other examples, and we'll talk about uh, what our students on the call have been doing. The faculty, here's another example of a faculty member, another professor of finance. You can also see uh, that Nicola has also worked out in the real world. He's worked at the Bank of Canada. He's worked at the Federal Reserve in the United States. He's a consultant in the AI, the finance and mining industries. He's been a visiting professor all around the world. This is very typical of our faculty that they have this combination of real world experience with the academic training. Uh, one of our marketing students, Tara here, uh, a graduate from uh, 2020, she works at RBC Canada, which is actually the largest bank in Canada. It's one of the larger banks in the world, actually. She landed, she did her co-op terms at RBC uh, in head office in Toronto. By the way, for those of you who are not familiar with Guelph, Guelph is just down the road from Toronto. It's about 45 minute to an hour train wide right. So it's a very easy commute down there. You can actually um, uh, do your co-op term in Toronto while living in Guelph or vice versa. Uh, she landed a job at RBC before graduating. And now she's actually leading the internal marketing and communication effort for new tech and innovation adoption. So just an excellent example of a student who's managed to do very well from our marketing area. So now I'd like to pass it over to our students here. So Arugis, can you talk to me about um, some of the courses that you've done at Lang? We're talking about how the academic preparation, the coursework has prepared you for the real world. So if you wouldn't mind highlighting some of the courses you've done that you've quite enjoyed. Perfect, since I'm a, I'm a county major, I've done many of the accounting courses here. Uh, one of the course that we are specifically asked to take is accounting 1240. That's like mandatory for co-op students here at accounting. It really helps you to like experience what, a, what accounting would be. Before my first co-op term, I did accounting 1240 and it actually made me ready and it gave me all the communication skills I needed to grab that co-op opportunity at Grand Thornton. Which, is, which comes in top five accounting companies all over the world. So accounting 1240 really helped me like building my whole confidence and everything on how to work with co-ops. And then there was another, another course that was Management 1000. Uh, like you just told, there was like an ethical dilemma competition where we had to, where I specifically had to lead a team of five and we came second in the competition in front of five major CEOs that were leading, that were like leading industries. And we got several hampers as well. So there are many, many interesting courses here at Guelph. Oh, good. That's very nice to hear. And congratulations on being second. That um, 
We can return to that later, but that is a very big first year case competition yeah. that we have for all our students. And that's another difference here is that we have case competitions right from the very beginning um, of your educational experience here. We do want to emphasize the real world right away. Dune, could you please tell us about some of the courses you've enjoyed while being here? Yeah, sure. Um, I think one of the one of the many courses I took, um, I really enjoyed Management 2500. So that was about funda fundamentals of entrepreneurship. So we were asked to build a business model and make a Shopify website and actually sell our product and make a case study on how the entire journey of preparing the business, preparing our product, launching our website, all of that went. So I right. think that that was a really unique experience where we had to do everything on our own and it was very hands-on. And the professors and TAs, they always helped us regarding all of the technical aspects. So that is one course I really enjoyed. Excellent, excellent. So we have a very tight relationship between the Lang School and Shopify. Shopify is an incredible um, platform that is available here and they love to hire our graduates. Um, they can't say enough about our graduates here. Excellent. So the career support, as you've seen, we were already integrating the career aspects with what is taught in the classroom. Um, we have our Business Career Development Center, and that is a center that is housed within Lang, and it is to help you in your job search. Some of you may be apprehensive. Well, how do I go about getting a job? How do I prepare? Does my CV look okay, et cetera, et cetera. The people in the Business Career Development Center are there to support you one-on-one -on -one with this endeavor. And this Business Career Development Center, the BCDC, is exclusive to Lang Commerce students. So no other students on campus can access this. This is only for Lang Commerce students. They have many collaborations with industries and partnerships. Shopify is a good example of that, but there's many, many others, different accounting firms, finance firms, et cetera, et cetera. We've also um, launched what we call our career action teams, where you'll be working with fellow students to support each other in the career search. As I said before, you are not in the classroom alone. You're in a team environment there. You're not in your job search alone. You are in a team environment there. So you're never left alone. You will be supported your entire way through your four or five years with us. Um, another success story, uh, Niha, who was just graduated in 2021 in economics and finance co-op. Uh, she was also from Delhi. Um, she was involved in the Lang Student Association, Intercultural Engagement Team, Project Serve, many more things. This is another thing I want to emphasize when I get to the third pillar. You can join many different organizations here. Everybody will have an opportunity to be on the executive of some of the clubs here. And this looks really good on your CV. It gets you meeting new people, gets you meeting people from industry, et cetera, et cetera. So she now works at the Toronto Transit Commission in downtown Toronto, which is a very large company there as a budget and reporting analyst. So if I could ask Arugis about his uh, involvement with the BCDC and the co-op program here, how did you find going through that? Perfect. So the Business Career Development Center, like you said, offers a variety of networking opportunities and workshops, and especially within the students. Uh, there is no teacher or professor. No, it's, it's all the students that help each other to find the career opportunity that's always right for you. I landed both of my co-ops using the expertise provided by the BCDC. So I would very much recommend using the resources available on the campus like BCDC. Even before you come, you can like edit your resume and everything on BCDC. There are several fellow contenses that help you landing a job here in Canada. So I would I would recommend BCDC at any time. Oh, thank you. And Dune, how what was your experience like? Yeah, sure. Um, the BCDC is an excellent resource for any of your career related queries or questions. 
I also got all of my resumes and cover letters reviewed from there. And I think the peer helper aspect of it is the best because you can easily connect with people your age, you know, let them know what all the what all are the difficulties that you're facing. And even the staff, they're like very hands-on. You can easily book appointments with them. They're very accessible. So I think that's the best part about BCDC. Great, thank you. Um, here's an example of what it looks like at one of our career fairs. We hold several career fairs throughout the year. Um, many employers, as you can see there on the left, CIBC, which is another one of our very large banks here in Canada, um, is always looking for employees here. Um, they come in. I usually attend these myself. I go around and thank the employers. And all I hear from the employers is how well our students do at their place. They really do line up to hire our students. There's a strong demand from employers for our students that is out there, which is very reassuring. Now, suppose you want to be your own boss. Suppose you want to create your own company. Uh, we have the John F. Wood Center for Business and Student Enterprise housed within Lang. And this teaches you how to be an entrepreneur. And that's a very, very important skill. So a lot of people, they may wish to come over to Canada and rather than working for a big company or perhaps starting to work for a big company, but then going off and forming your own company, the skills that you need to create an idea, to be an entrepreneur, to have a good business plan, to set everything up are taught to you through the John F. Wood Center. And that is an incredible little center that's housed within Lang. Um, the students that go through there just absolutely sing its praise. We've had 150 startups, 150 startup companies launched out of the Wood Center. And they also offer you training in entrepreneurship. So even if you are going to be uh, working at a company itself, you will be in what's called an intrapreneur. In other words, you will be somebody within the organization who has entrepreneurial skills that people will value inside that big organization. Because let's face it, these days, big organizations are having to change very rapidly and they don't want to rely on outside consultants to tell them what they should be doing. So having people inside that can think of new ideas, think of new areas of business for the company are actually valued quite highly. And then the final pillar is being a global leader. We train you to be a good leader with ethical skills, good team skills, that you can manage a very diverse and inclusive workforce. And if you know anything about Canada, you will know that we have a very diverse population and businesses really want leaders who can manage teams of very diverse people. And we teach you these skills. So the Lang School itself is ranked number five in the world for sustainability. This is very important now because as you probably know, many businesses are getting a lot of pressure from customers, from employees, from shareholders to ensure that they do business in a sustainable manner. We are ranked number five in the world for sustainability in our program. So we have many different student groups who help develop leadership skills in all of these areas. And if you wish, you can also do a study abroad program, although you would be coming to Canada from uh, presumably a different country, but we have many different study abroad programs that are available for students there if you would like to partake of that. Here's an example of a case competition that was done um, just a few months ago. I think about six months ago, actually, not that long ago. We have many, many case competitions here in many different industries. Um, some of our students here, you see that the team here, 
that did extremely well on this combination is actually a combination of both domestic and international students. And that's that's quite common. Like if you're coming here from India or Bangladesh or wherever, you will be working with people who were born here. You will be studying with them. You'll be on teams with them. Um, this is very much an integrated environment on our campus. Uh, Charon Deep is a good example of a second year BCom student. So he's a sport and event management student. He's from Raipur in India. He is heavily involved in the hospitality, sports and tourism related student groups. And you saw him in that previous picture that I just put up uh, being very successful at the case competition there. So Arugis, if you wouldn't mind talking about your experience with co-curricular case competition clubs, things like that. What did you have going on? Actually, University of Gulf has many student clubs. And one of the student clubs that I'm part of, the Indian Student Association, with more than 400 plus members, uh, we are like a family in that club offering that South Asian culture touch to the Gulf city. The ISA offers many, uh, many goods and even organize events like uh, Holy Diwali and Disco Nights. And even the IAC has impacted my learning in several ways, uh, such as after talking to people, it actually, I explored many interests that I was never in, like in studies and everything. And even then, the networking events offered by the IAC as well, and creating a sense of community here at the university actually makes me feel like home here. So student clubs are very mandatory to join when you're at the university to involve in the campus life. Well, I am looking forward to my invitation to Diwali next fall. So perfect. Because yes, I, I have been involved with that before and I really do enjoy it. So anytime. Um, Dune, what's your experience being with uh, clubs and case competitions and things like that? Yeah, sure. Um... I'm a part of the Lang Sustainability Conference um, at the Lang Student Association over here in Guelph. And we hold like a three-day annual event, which is actually a case competition. And we invite business leaders in the sustainable space to become our sponsors and speakers. So there's like tons of workshops with them. So they tell us how their business creates impact in the real world. And honestly, experiences with them have been really inspiring. I see myself going into uh, the sustainable space in my career as well. And the second club I'm a part of is the Guelph Student Investment Council. And it gives a chance at gaining hands-on investing experience in North American equity markets. And we're also funded by <clears throat> Fidelity Investments. And we run a concentrated portfolio with small to mid-cap stocks. And the best part about that club is that I've improved my pitching and presentation skills really well. And it's also a collaborative environment. So all of the students on campus are invited to our meetings and you're all allowed to have discussions and what you feel about a certain equity or you know a certain group of stocks. Excellent. It's really important to not only have an idea, but as you say, to be able to pitch it, like to be able to sell it to other people, because that's half the battle is being able to convince other people in a you know very tight amount of time, because the people usually you're presenting to with asset allocation decisions, you should buy this stock and not the stock. They usually are very time constrained. So um, the GSIC, I know the Student Investment Club, we actually practice, we help students practice those skills. And that's a very good real world experience to learn. Excellent. So let me just talk about some of the supports for international students. And then I will pass it over to Amy to talk about uh, some of the other application things. So I want to stress here that we understand that moving to a different country is a very big step, but you are supported throughout your entire time here. So we have international student advisors from our student experience area. 
that will actually help support you answer questions all the way through. We have what is called Start International, an orientation program for international students. It's going to help you make connections, settle into Guelph, et cetera, et cetera, even before orientation week begins. So orientation week is right at the start of September. But long before that, as soon as you um, accept into our program, you will be contacted and you will be supported answering questions. How do I get there? How do I move, et cetera, et cetera. Residents, you may be worried about where you're going to live. All international undergraduate students are guaranteed a spot in one of our nine residence buildings on campus. So you do not have to worry about finding a place to live. You will be guaranteed a spot as an international undergraduate student in one of our uh, dorms here on campus. We are known as the food university. The food on campus here is very good. So it's not traditional institutional food. We have very strong links with the agricultural sector here in Canada. And the food we offer is quite a variety and um, quite, quite good here on campus. We also offer a service called Unibuddy, which is an opportunity for you to chat with a current international student one-on-one -on -one online. So if you have very specific questions, what's it really like, et cetera, et cetera, uh, you can join in them. So maybe if I could ask Amy to come on the line now and um, talk about some of the other um, sort of common questions that she might get in admissions on that international students. And indeed, if there's any um, international students online who would like to ask a specific question, either of me or any of the panelists, if you could uh, just pose your question in the Q&A. So I'll just pass it over to you now, Amy. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. Thank you so much. So over in admissions right now, I think a lot of the questions we get, firstly, is can I still apply? So if this is your first introduction to Guelph and you're watching this thinking, oh, I wish I could still apply, don't worry. For international students, our applications are still open. So you can uh, apply to the end of March and allow us to get your documents until April 15th. So you've still got a few more weeks um, if you do want to get an application in. In order to apply to us, um, you can do it in three different ways. So there's uh, different options for international students when you come to our website. You're going to be offered three ways to apply. So firstly, you can apply directly to us on our website. It's a direct application that will be only to the University of Guelph. And you can tick all the different Lang programs and apply to multiple programs through one fee that will come directly to us. You can also apply on things called the Common App. So if you're looking to apply to multiple US universities or you're using the platform Common App, um, that's a great place to go as well. You can upload your documents and apply directly onto the Common App and the application will come directly to us. However, if you're also looking at multiple other Ontario universities, so Ontario is our province here, if you're looking at different Ontario universities um, and you wanna to apply to multiple Ontarios at the same time, then you would need to apply through the Ontario University Application Center. So you may hear people say the word OUAC. That's the ability for you to do one application, you upload your documents once, and then you can select multiple schools that you can send it to. So it's a little bit cheaper, it's a little bit faster if you're looking to do multiple Ontario universities. So that's not across all of Canada, it's just in our province here. So have a look at um, any other universities you're applying to and if the OUAC is an option for you. Either way, your application will get to us in the exact same way. We need to make sure we have all your documents. So um, whatever grades you have up until now, your, your final last three or four years of high school will be asking for those grades. So when you send in your application and tell us what school you're from and what year you're in, we will then tell you exactly what documents you need to send us. You don't have to have those documents done officially in the first format. So if you're right now thinking, oh my gosh, I got to go call my school and get them to send all my documents. Not to worry, we do accept unofficial documents to begin with. So if you're going to apply to us, you can send us unofficial documents, meaning you can send them directly to us. So you can just download your transcript or whatever access to your exam grades, and you can upload them to your portal here um, or send them into us at Guelph. Because they are unofficial, we will only be able to give you a conditional offer. So we'll be going through those grades. 
make sure when you're looking at all the different Lang programs that you have, there are specific courses that you need to complete in high school to get into those programs. So make sure I can pop something um, in the chat or if you go to our main website, you'll be able to see entry requirements. It just means that the way you apply to university in Canada or at Guelph specifically, is you're not applying to the University of Guelph, you're applying to a very specific program. Each program will have their own requirements for you to get into and their own grades needed for each one. So sometimes students that have taken math or haven't taken math may get into different programs than you. It's only because each program has their own way in. Whereas I think some US institutions and some larger UK ones, you apply to the whole university and then you can declare what you wanna study at a later time. Slightly different here. So you're gonna to apply to one of these Lang programs. Just check that you've done the right courses in your high school. If you haven't and you're like, oh, Amy, I really want to go to Lang, but I haven't done X, Y, Z, not to worry. We can always advise you of different courses you can either take to help you get into that over the summer or any online courses to make sure you have those requirements in. So once you send us those documents with their unofficial, we will evaluate them against the um, entry requirements for each program. So again, some programs have a bit of a higher threshold just due to the number of seats or the number of people that apply. Others have a lower. So you can apply to multiple different programs. If you are looking, I know today we spoke a lot about co-op. If you're looking to apply to co-op, I highly, highly recommend that you tick it on your application. The co-op spaces are limited at the at, we're kind of a, and given to the top students. So if you apply to co-op and you get in, then you'll get your offer letter that says, congratulations, you've made it to co-op. If you apply to co-op, but you don't make it into those top uh, thresholds, we will just give you the uh, offer letter without co-op on it. However, the trick is if you apply and you don't take co-op, but you happen to hit those grades at the top, we don't offer it to you and, and, and give it to you on top and say, what, did you know you could have gotten into co-op? We assume that you don't want it. So my advice to students is always, if you are debating co-op and thinking, do I want it? I would always suggest that you take it on your application and apply to co-op. Because if you get in, then you can decide whether you want to take it or not. And if you don't get in, you'll still be entered into the program without co-op. Once you're here at the university, it's a little more difficult to enter the co-op program once you've arrived on campus. It's much easier to start it from your first year. So that's kind of a big question. I would definitely recommend that you, um, you apply to get into co-op as well. Once we have your documents and you've applied to us, um, you will get an offer letter from us. So this offer letter will be conditional or unconditional. Likely at this point in the cycle, most offers are going to be conditional, meaning there's a condition on your offer. The condition usually is that you need to finish high school, you need to give us your final grades, or we need to have your official documents. So the idea that you would send us your official documents over either that's directly from your school or from your exam board so we can verify them. But that's not to say if you have a an, uh, un, uh, conditional offer from us, you can use that to start your visa process. That is an offer that will stand and be useful for your visa process. So once you go through that and we give you that um, unofficial or sorry, conditional offer to you, you can start going through your visa process. The rules here in Canada about visas, and I know we get lots of questions and I'm sure the students on here today are having flashbacks to their visa processing days. <laughs> and I know India has been really struggling with some um, the SDS stream and whatnot with the visas. So we have a new team on campus called the GPS team. It's the Global Pre-Arrival Support Team. So if you are thinking, oh, I really need help with uh, visas, the rule in Canada is that in order to give visa support or visa advice, you have to have a specific qualification to be able to give that advice. We in admissions do not have that, but this GPS team has all the right regulatory exams and whatnot to be able to give legal uh, immigration advice. So if you do have any questions about your visa or how to apply for it, we have that here at the campus and more than happy to help you with that and highly recommend you do it quite soon. So the global pre-arrival support, once you get your offer, will reach out to you and you can reach out to start getting that visa process in there as well. So those are kind of the top questions I get. Yes, you can still apply. Please send us your documents. And of course, we will help you with that visa process. And once you're kind of in the funnel and you have your offer, we'll start sending you more information specific to your orientation and when to come to campus and all that as soon as we get closer and closer uh, to your arrival in September. But if you do have any follow-up questions or you're thinking, oh my goodness, I have a really unique case or your, or your documents are a bit funky or you can't get in touch with us, please, please reach out. We are more than happy to sit. We take one-to-ones um, and happy to go look through your transcript or your application just um, on a one-off. So please email us. Um, if you have an application in, 
you can uh, email us directly at int app, so I N T A P P S at uoguelph.ca. And there's a whole team behind there that are just helping with those uh, applications coming in for this fall. So I hope that was helpful. And if you have any further questions, please, please feel to reach out to us. Great. Thank you very much, Amy. No worries. Um, how was your experience in applying to Guelph Arugis? You went through this. So how did you find it? It was uh, fairly easy than the other universities. I just needed my IELTS result and my transcript from my high school to get in. And the best part about the University of Guelph is that I did get an, like, like what Amy told us, I did get an, un, like the conditional offer letter just on the basis of predicted grades that my high school gave me. And I was very happy I, I did came in without even graduating my high school. So I would, I would, it was like a fairly easy process than the other ones. So, yep. Excellent, excellent. And Dune, what attracted you to the University of Guelph and to Lang when you were looking at different places to go? Yeah, sure. Um, I think one of the biggest thing that attracted me to Lang was the focus on sustainability and the impact it creates in the real world. And apart from that, um, Guelph also offered like an international entrance scholarship. So I think that was also a pretty good incentive for me to choose Lang and Guelph. Right. So can you talk a bit, Dune, about how important sustainability is to businesses now? Because this is relatively new. I think it's, you know, it's always been there a little bit in the background, but over the past five years, it's become incredibly important, I think. Yeah, sure. Um, I believe that businesses need to be sustainable to think about the impact that, that they're creating in the, in the present day and also what they plan to do in the future. You might do something to um, improve your business in, in the current run, but then I think it's important to think about what the future generations will look at your business and like, you know, the impact that you create on the environment. I think we're all in this together and we really need to look at our, our like look at our actions and take responsibility for it. Right, right. I'll point out too that we have an Institute for Sustainable Commerce housed right inside the Lang School. And there's a large number of courses that are involved with sustainability and business as a force for good all across the different areas of Lang. So this is something that underlies a lot of our programs here and what we do. So um, what do you like best about the city of Guelph? Arugis, how do you like living in Guelph? Actually, uh... Safety was a concern for my parents when I was like dropping in from, from India to, to Guelph. So safety was one of the priorities and Guelph being the safest city in Canada as it, as, as it is ranked. So me and my parents were in all the confidence to send me here since the, the, city is, the city is very safe. And Guelph is also known for its historic buildings in the historic downtown, like the church. And the city also offers very, uh, the city offers communal events like farmers market to bring the community together. Yeah, yeah. That's an important thing to emphasize is that Guelph is rated the safest city in Canada. I mean, Canada itself is very safe, especially compared to our neighbor to the south. But Guelph is the safest of the safe. So we really do enjoy living here. How do you like it here, Dune? Yeah, I think Guelph is pretty good. It's like a medium-sized city and it's also accessible to the GTA area. So we you have all kinds of like modes of transport. You can go through the highway, use the bus. GTA area. being being Toronto for people that are not familiar with that. Yeah. yeah. So it's easy to get to downtown Toronto from Guelph. Mm -hmm. And then the people and the community here is really kind. And there's lots of things to do. You can, yes. of course, there's the, the community at the university. And even in the city, people are really good. They're willing to help you. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is very nice. It's a nice mixture of a of a big city with enough interesting things, and you still get a bit of that small town feel to it. So, um, what about um, living on campus, Arugis? Have you lived on campus here? I I did not live on campus, unfortunately, but 
I but I've been to I've been to campus all day since uh, in the beginning I had no friends. Uh, living on campus from my friends was very like it was a great way to immerse yourself with the university experience, and it helped me uh, even the person who was living off campus to engage in the campus life. Right. In the first few weeks, I became an orientation volunteer, which really helped me in dealing with my homesickness. Since the since becoming an orientation volunteer helped me gaining new friends and all the support that I needed. So I would recommend living on campus to everyone who's applying here at Guelph. Excellent. Dune, did you live on campus? Yes, um, I joined the university in 2019 and I lived in Mills Hall, which is right across, I mean, on the north, north side of the campus. And it's pretty close to the Lang School. And it's also pretty close to the Creelman Hall. So that is one of our best dining halls at the University of Guelph. And my experience in, you know, in like living on campus was really good. I met a lot of my friends over there. And there's also communities like for each residence hall and all of us have events together. So that's where you can, you know, really meet a lot of people, do activities together, watch movies, stuff like that. So, and the RAs, they're also pretty helpful. They're pretty hands-on and right. you can always talk to them. There's a lot to offer on campus as well. We've got a very large library here if you want a quiet area. We have a very large gymnasium here, physical education area with all sorts of workout equipment and things like that that's right on campus as well. And for those of you interested in Guelph, you can look online. The campus itself is just beautiful. Like there's an awful lot of green space and it's almost like a campus inside a park. It is very nice with the old buildings in their different settings. Um, anything else that um, you should know that you would like students to know, Arugis? Uh I would love them to know about the resources available on campus, such as the international uh, international student scholarships. Uh, it was actually the international student scholarship is like based. It's like an award based on the academic achievement a student can get. So I would tell all the prospective students to aim for higher academics, since University of Guelph offers. Uh, a major or a substantial amount of international uh, scholarship to students who are here with great academic achievement. Right. So, yeah. That is an important component. Thank you. Dean, anything else you would like potential students to know? Um, yes. So, I mean, to all the potential students, Guelph is a great place. It's a really safe place. And we have tons of resources to help you on campus. And I think the best thing you can take away is that make use of all the resources and opportunities. You really have to make the most out of your experience over here. And it's also important to cultivate your interests and hobbies. So we have lots of groups, clubs, and activities to do so. And always like meet new people. We always have something interesting to share and learn from each other. Excellent. Okay. Well, I would like to thank everybody for joining today. So thank you very much for signing on. Thank you to Amy from our admissions uh, services. Thank you to Dune and Arugis, our current students, for taking time this morning. If you do have additional questions, there's other resources that are available at Lang. Um, there's definitely, our, if you go to our web pages, we've got web pages that are devoted to international student recruiting. There's also um, uh, an international student recruitment book there that is available that gives more details. And you can find details about uh, admission uh, requirements and things like that at the University of Guelph website and also available at Lang. And if there's any other questions that you have on anything, whether it's on any of the part of our future U Advantage, whether it's on something technical, on admissions or anything, please do feel free to contact us. Don't be worrying about anything, just send us an email and let us know and we will get back to you. So thank you all very much. And I hope to see you at Lang in the fall. <laughs>